Hello everyone, as we discussed in the previous video, these two are the software elements that we are going to install to our PC for interfacing this development board of Tiva C series launchpad. So we are just going to download these two softwares and then we are just going to install it to our PC. Let's get started. In the beginning, let's try to download this Stellaris ICDI driver from the Texas Instrument website. Open the Google Chrome and type in Stellaris ICDI drivers and open this www.ti.com. Here, click on the Downloads button in the tab. And here you can find the SWICDI drivers. Click on this download button for downloading this driver software for free. You can see the driver has been successfully downloaded. And now when I go to the downloads page, you can see here is a zip file. Right click on it and extract to the folder required. It has been downloaded somewhere else extracted somewhere else let me find it out and you can see here is the folder open it for installing the usb drivers first of all connect the tiva c series launchpad to the pc usb port through micro usb cable like this and after connecting you just want to turn on the push switch right over here for providing the power for the microcontroller you can see a green LED is turned on as soon as I turned the switch to the that side. Now let's get into the installation of driver. And for installing this driver, you just want to open the device manager. Right click on this PC and click on properties and click on device manager in the left top corner. Here you can see I have already installed the drivers that is why it is showing like Stellaris ICDI DFU device and Stellaris ICDI JTAC SWD interface. And also if you click on the ports you can find the USB serial device which is also the USB driver for this Stellaris development board. Since I have connected the Tiva C series launchpad to my PC using micro USB cable it is showing like this. And for installing this just go to the same site where you have downloaded this drivers and below this you can find a technical documentation. I am just going to open this. You can see the Texas Instruments has already provided a document for installing this driver. Come over here for driver installation using Windows 7 or 8. What you want to do is open the device manager as I did. If you have not installed the drivers it will show you like this exclamation marks. So just right click on the first in circuit debugger interface and click on update driver software. And in the pop up menu prompting just click on the browse my computer for driver software. And in the next tab click on this browse button and choose the Stellaris ICDI drivers folder that we have already downloaded right over here. Come to this location and select this folder right over here in the pop-up menu prompting. And after that click on next here and the driver will be automatically getting installed to your PC. And here if it is prompting like this just click on install this driver software anyway. And after few minutes you will find the Stellaris Virtual Serial Port, Stellaris ICDI DFU device and Stellaris ICDI JTAG bar SWD interface like this in my PC. So you will get this USB device as well as the Stellaris ICDI DFU device and Stellaris ICDI JTAG bar SWD interface in your PC also after the successful installation of this driver. So in this manner you can install the drivers for the Tiva C series launchpad that is Stellaris ICDI drivers and as the next software we are just going to install the Keel Microvision 5 IDE. So I am just going to download that software open the Google Chrome 
here type in keel and in this www.keel.com click on this downloads link and here directly click on the product downloads and you can find several softwares right over here just click on the mdk arm which is meant for programming the drivers for arm devices and here you just want to fill up this contact information form so it is very simple you just want to give your first name last name email address company name and job title here you just want to select the country where you are located in and after that give the phone number and check this box and after that click on submit and after completing that form and clicking on the submit button you will be directed to this page directly so you will not be required to confirm any emails so you will not be getting any otp numbers so you will be directly diverted to this page here just click on this link mdk536.exe for downloading the keel microvision 5.3.6 software which is the latest version available in this arm keel as soon as i clicked this link you can see my downloads has been started you can see here in the left bottom corner mdk536.exe is being downloaded so once the downloading is done you can directly install this software without any difficulties with a simple easy installation setup so in this manner you can download the skill microvision software and you can install it to your pc directly so in this video i hope you got some knowledge on downloading and installing the sterilysis icda driver required for tiva c series launchpad development board and also we got some knowledge for downloading the keel microvision ide from the www.keel.com which is the integrated development environment using which we are just going to develop our own programs now after installing the keel microvision ide just open the keel microvision 5 here just click on this pack installer for installing the necessary packs for the microcontroller that we are going to use in this course so i just want to click on this pack installer icon you can see this pack installer window will be popped out click on ok and here scroll down a little bit and you will find this texas instrument tab click on the plus next to it in the left and you will see all the controllers related to texas instrument driver packages here we just want to install the two series packages first one is the tiva c series which we are going to use click on this tiva c series and here click on this install button right over here since i have already installed the packages it is showing up to date and after that you just install the arm kimsys arm kimsys driver and arm kimsys driver validation packages and since i have installed all these packages it is showing me up to date for you initially it will be showing installed right over here as you can see right over here if it is showing up to date you just leave the packages and after installing the tiva c series packages you just want to install the lm4f series packages do the same for lm4f series install the keel lm4f dfp kimsys kimsys driver and kimsys driver validation and since i have installed these packages too it is showing me up to date if it is showing install just click on the inst uninstall the required package and after installing the lm4f series drivers and tiva c series drivers close the pack installer and now our keel microvision ide is able to generate the startup file required for our microcontroller and for creating our project see you in the next video thanks for watching